Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, mysterious voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I've found in my travels. Today, I want to talk about a short story, uh, because it is Short Story Tuesday, and uh, I wanted to focus on one that is about pet psychics and uh, motherhood. I am referring to Rosemary uh, by Emma Straub, uh, which was published in 2011 in her short story collection, Other People We Married. For those who don't know, Emma Straub is an American writer uh, who's been writing for the past 15 or so years, or at least getting published in the past 15 years. Uh, she owns a... Um, uh, a bookstore with her with her husband, I believe. Uh, her father is a horror writer, and that's pretty much all I know about her. Not not a too not too much information out there. Um, I think she's written a couple of articles and children's stories too. And her most recent book was published either last year or in 2022. Um, I would be very interested in reading more of her work based on what I have found here. Uh, I did check this out for my local library, so don't forget to patronize your local libraries. They might have interesting uh, short story collections such as this. Uh, so without further ado, let's talk about Rosemary. I will do a summary, a little bit of analysis, and we will move on from there. So Rosemary focuses on a woman named uh, Claire. She is married and has, uh, or is a new mom. Uh, has a child named Sebastian, and at the start of the story, we see that she has secretly hired a, uh, a pet psychic named Vivian to find her uh, her lost cat, Rosemary. She's had this cat for longer than she's been married, uh, and uh, she really wants to know where it ran off to because it's an outdoor cat uh, and it hasn't returned home. Uh, she's has hesitant to tell her husband about this because it's a it's a pet psychic, of course. Uh, but uh, Claire believes that Ro Vivian can actually um, uh, provide more detail about where Rosemary is, even though it does seem a bit far fetched. And uh, she's she's we we do find out throughout the story that Claire is unsure about her child not really feeling a sense of connection after having given birth, where she felt very uh, maternal and uh, felt a deep connection to the child. And uh, she's unsure if her husband is going to be able to effectively raise the child. Uh, she's worried about him turning into the traditional laid-back kind of dad who doesn't really take an interest in, 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 in his children. Uh, and so it's kind of put some doubts on their, their marriage that she hasn't effectively spoken up uh, about. But there might be something deeper to her that, that's making her think this, even though he might be a perfectly capable uh, father. She finds that she's going on runs uh, longer and longer. She sort of lives near Manhattan, so she run uh, runs all the way into the city for a pretty lengthy distance and then has to run back really quickly when she realizes that she's late for an appointment or something like that. Uh, and she used to do yoga, but now she's hesitant to go to yoga, uh, and she um, she just decides uh, to just be a mother at, at this point, not really having a lot of outside commitments or anything like that. Uh, but unfortunately, one uh, one evening, Matt answers the door, and Vivian says that she's a psychic, and Matt laughs about this. Um, he, he doesn't seem to be angry, but he is raising his voice about why Claire would hire Vivian in the, in the first place, to which Claire replies that Matt already agreed to a reward for the pet, and Vivian is uh, much less than the, the award w reward would be, so it's, it's not that much money in the, in the grand scheme of things. Like Claire and Vivian go outside um, to be away from Matt for a little bit, and Vivian just says that Rosemary is dead, uh, that it seemed like it was her time, so she left the family, uh, and uh, she died, and presumably in the, somewhere in the neighborhood, uh, which Claire is upset about, and she just goes back in, inside and, and prepares to deal with with reality from there. It kind of ends abruptly there, and that's yeah, that's where the story ends. In terms of analysis, there is a little bit we're talking about with uh, with Rosemary. Most of the story is psychological, so there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, in terms of events in this story, but 
it, it does seem like there's the, the story is m- mostly focused on mental health and and and, psych- and, and the internal state of, of, of Claire. Uh, so one of the themes, one of the ideas that uh, Straub is touching upon here is that of postpartum depression, uh, which I feel I feel that's what she's getting at. It might not be exactly, uh, but that's my interpretation of, of the story. And that is that uh, Claire has been in a funk since uh, her son Sebastian was was born. Uh, there's a question of whether she, is this the life that she wants. Um, she doesn't seem to be very happy with her husband. Uh, there, there, there's there's a question of her connection to her child, which is what you often see in postpartum depression. Like you're so happy, like while you're uh, pregnant. Like there's that glowing feeling uh, for, for, for many mothers. It's not always the case. Uh, and that has a lot to do with the hormones that are flooding your system. And then when your child is born, those hormones are no longer flooding your system. And so there's that absence of, of that happy sort of connected feeling. And uh, I think that's what Claire is going through uh, in this story. Her purpose seemed to be clear while she was pregnant. And now after giving birth, like... Uh, it, it, that purpose isn't there anymore and she's questioning her her marriage or at least her her husband's ability to be a father and um it, it's it's all sort of getting to her and she's closing herself off from uh from the world allow me to read you an interesting quote from this and how do you feel vivian asked following claire's stare to the opposite sidewalk I don't know, Claire said. She wasn't sure if this counted as one of their sessions or if they were just having a conversation. Like a rock. Or maybe like something at the bottom of the ocean. And that's <laughs> that's that's pretty much a description of depression, but also a very valid description of, of postpartum depression. Because if you feel like a rock, you feel like nothing. And if you feel like you're at the bottom of the ocean, you feel like you're drowning, which is what a lot of mothers uh, go through. I do have to give Straub credit for capturing that emotion and um, being willing to talk about it. Because not a lot of people are willing to talk about postpartum depression. It... Um, it, it's something that we typically push away because if you're not if you're not willing to be a mother if you're not a great mother right off the bat then that must mean you're a weak mother or not very good and you know that's going to bring up a whole other set of emotions so like talking about it and saying hey some people feel like this is 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 very important and um i'm glad that Straub captures that in this in this story What's also clear in this story is that Rosemary is not merely a cat. Rosemary is symbolism. Uh, Because perhaps the cat is not the true concern of the story. Rather, Rosemary is reflective of things that are going on in Claire's life. Uh, And I think, um, based on what what I've been reading in this story, uh, that Straub indicates that Rosemary represents Claire's life that came before. Because she notes at the at the near the beginning of the story that uh, she had Rosemary since before she met Matt, and so Rosemary is part of that life that came before Matt, that came before having the child, and uh, so having Rosemary allowed her to grasp onto some of that and represented a potential for so- growth outside of of this marriage of this new life that came to her. Uh, and without Rosemary, she's left to look upon her somewhat unhappy marriage, her questions of whether Matt's going to be a good father, her subpar jobs where she she's um, kind of moving from job to job, doesn't really have a lot going for her. And uh, even more, um, uh, there's a question of whether uh, anyone would hire a, a mom, anyone who is pregnant. Uh, so a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of struggle there, a lot of questions of motherhood. Cause not only do people not want to see her while she's pregnant or having a child, they don't want to see her, uh, or like, it doesn't seem like they want her or like, she doesn't want to be a part of the world while as a mother as well. Like, is she going to, is she going to be a good mother to Sebastian and will people respect her as a mother and, and whatnot. And so without Rosemary, she, She's left to just reflect on all of that, and she, all that she has is this life after um, Rosemary. Uh, and um, it seems that Vivian tells Claire what she already suspects. Like she's like, "Oh, uh, like um, Rosemary is dead," which 
Claire kind of knew, but it, when hearing that Rosemary is dead uh, tells her, you know, oh, you lost something that was important to you, but you also lost that connection to that earlier life. And so all you have is this now. And uh, I, I, maybe at the end of the story, when Rose, when uh, when Claire goes back inside, she, that's an acceptance of that life, or maybe it's a. Um, it's an unspoken determination to do something about that and and have more than what's currently in front of her. Um, but personally, I think it's a bit of a, a sad ending because it's it's sort of Claire accepting that this is the life that she has to live now rather than any other potential that she could maybe have. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Rosemary by Emma Straub. A pretty solid short story. Uh, a lot of fun. Definitely worth reading. Uh, and other uh, stories in this collection are really good as well. Uh, Straub has a, a, a great knack for writing about people who are at a crucial moment in their life, maybe at a point of in internal personal crisis. Uh, as you see with, with Claire in this story, but many others in this collection as well. So I do think it's worth seeking out. Maybe you'll find it at your local local library. I was certainly lucky enough to find it at mine. If you have any thoughts on this or you just want to comment on, what, on my review here, do so below. Um, I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can find out about this author or the short story collection if they don't already know. Uh, also join the Discord if you want to have further conversations about this sort of thing. And until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and child-having travels. Farewell.